again. My name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 25th of January, 2019. Just watched a rather informative 15 minute and 20 second video. The title is Trump's Benghazi. When I got it, it only had 4,522 views. Should have a whole lot more. I suspect that it will have a whole lot more. You really want to sit back and listen to what this guy has to say. You know, if you've watched me for any period of time, quite often I talk about the pieces of the puzzle. And I say when you look at them individually, they don't really tell you a whole lot. But when you look at them collectively, you see a whole picture. Listen to what he has to say about President Trump. If you've watched me over the past number of years, you know that I've sort of vacillated back and forth. I've said that leopards don't change their spots. Trump was a Democrat for most of his life. His children couldn't even vote for him in the primaries because they were registered Democrats. And if you stop and analyze, again, the pieces of the puzzle, what has Trump done that he said he'd do? He told us that Hillary needs to go to jail. And if he becomes president, he'll have her investigated to put her in jail. He told us that he would sign a reciprocity act. So those of us that have concealed carry can carry in all states, which we should be able to do. Has he done that? I don't think so. He's done nothing to protect our First Amendment rights. He's done nothing to protect people like me that have been discarded by PayPal and by GoFundMe and by YouTube. He said that we would learn everything about the JFK assassination. And then he said, well, not really. This latest fiasco of his, which is the shutdown of the government, has put the Republicans in a very, very bad light. The problem is, I don't believe that he's a true Republican. You've heard me say there's no one to go to, and there truly isn't. I believe President Trump was put there to destroy the Republican Party. You've watched some of my videos, and I said if President Trump played these videos of Chuck e. Schumer and Harry Reid in the Oval Office before he sat down with Nancy Pelosi and Chuck e. Schumer, things would have turned out a whole lot different than they did. But he didn't do that. I even sent them to the White House. He didn't do any of it. Folks, you need to smell the coffee. President Trump is one of them. That's what he is. And he was put there to destroy the Republican Party, which is pretty much what he's done. Tell me where I'm wrong. I'm not the only one that sees that. Watch this video, Trump's Benghazi. You'll hear the same comments pretty much that I've just made, that I've made countless times before. There's nothing new about this. President Trump doesn't know how to pick people, but that could all be intentional to show that his administration's in total disarray. When he was running for the Oval Office, I had made videos and I said they're trying to portray him, poor Donald, poor Donald, poor Donald, to get the sympathy of the American people. I don't think Hillary wanted to be president. I don't think she's physically or mentally fit to be president. 
Folks, I hope I'm wrong. But when you listen to this 15 minute and 20 second video, you might agree that I'm not wrong. Please listen to the video. Pass it along to your like minded friends. Post it in your social media accounts. Ask them to do the same. Sadly, we truly have no one to go to.